While St. Patrick's Day is an Irish holiday, it's recognized internationally thanks to a little thing called the Irish Diaspora. Diaspora is a fancy word for people migrating from their homeland. And though back in Ireland, the celebration doesn't get much crazier than a feast and a parade, Irish folk across the globe have found plenty of creative ways to kick the party up a notch. Here are my top five favorite citywide celebrations. Number one, New London, Wisconsin. Alongside bagpipe players and Irish carolers, members of the Shamrock Club dress up as leprechauns and take part in a week-long celebration. The townsfolk even go so far as to change the highway signs to read New Dublin. And though the town only boasts a modest population of roughly 7,000, the day's festivities draw in a crowd of 30,000 people. I guess spirits really are bubbling in New Dublin. Number two, O'Neill, Nebraska. Dubbed the Irish capital of the state, the city is named after John O'Neill, an Irish officer who fought in the Civil War. The town is known for the giant clover that gets painted on their busiest intersection come St. Patrick's Day. Seriously, this thing is huge. You can literally see the outline of it on Google Maps. But festive landmarks aside, the people of O'Neill are so proud of their Irish heritage that the celebration extends far beyond the holiday itself. Residents wear green on the 17th of every month. Pinch that. Number three, Banwin, Wales. Historians and residents of the village alike both argue that St. Patrick was actually born in Banwin. The story goes that he was kidnapped by slavers and forced to be a shepherd for a few years until he escaped back to Britain and became ordained. Residents celebrate by taking part in a parade that leads to a very special stone, marking the alleged birthplace of St. Patrick. Number four, the island of Montserrat. There's a reason this place is called the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. Irish heritage on the island dates back hundreds of years, and a census from the 1600s even shows that half of the people living on Montserrat at the time were Irish. Outside of Ireland, Montserrat is the only country that recognizes St. Patrick's as an actual public holiday. But don't be fooled. This celebration is not your typical St. Patrick's Day festival. It's a multi-ethnic cultural experience inspired by Irish, African, and other Caribbean traditions. A lot of the week's festivities take place in a reconstructed slave village, commemorating the unsuccessful slave uprising that happened on the very same holiday in 1768. Number five, Chicago. Possibly the coolest and the craziest way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, the Plumbers Union has been dyeing the Chicago River green for over 40 years now. Back in the 50s and 60s, plumbers would use fluorescent dye to check for pipe leaks in the river. Their tradition of dyeing the river started when one union member noticed that the dye turned their white overalls Irish green. Over the years, the process for this effect has become refined, and the union now uses an eco-friendly vegetable dye, which only keeps the river green for a few hours. Yes, the holiday is native to Ireland, but it's celebrated all around the world. It's pretty cool that a person of Irish descent, no matter where they are, is never far from the festivities when St. Patrick's Day rolls around. <laughs>